구독 많이 해주세요. <웃음> just hit another three so the sophomore out of South Korea buries that averaging more than 13 points a game Davidson racing out to an 8-0 start and their defense has been so right across the street from the university so the commute's easy Lee quick trigger hits the and he'll get one more I don't know if he called to last but he buried that one he's got such a duty style but he gets it up so quick watch this boom yeah, I don't think he called that. I think he knew he was going to get hit. Steph's jersey still not does hanging. not hang in the arena. And they have uh, you know exchange why? students because he hasn't finished his degree yet. To go. And Coach McKillop said to me, promised him, I'm going to finish that degree, Coach, and I'm coming back, and you're hanging that jersey up there. But I, I give them great credit because that's important. Lee on the drive, off the glass, inside and out. Excellent defense as well. Bodies on the ground. Good opportunity to give credit to the A-10 as Lee loads up another three and buries it. The A-10 beat up Richmond, VCU and University of Richmond pull off this A-10 tournament. And you have to give the staff just trying to get a couple stops. He feels like we can score. We'll be all right there. We got to get stops. But all they do is the game just before this. Semifinals will be set after this one. Lee on the drive, stop, pulls up from the base and gets it to fall. Javon Green will be called for the foul. Watch him as he takes the ball hard to the baseline, squares his shoulders. The hit comes after the ball is already gone. There it is. Bob McKillop likes to call his defense. Guys, Secret Service defense. We don't want the ball, and he's gone. Otis Frazier's checked in now for Dave Paulson and the Patriots. 32-15 lead from deep range this time. If you're at home and you're a young player, this is how you shoot the basketball. First of all, very hard to block because he releases it up at the top. It's not coming down. And then watch where his feet are. He goes up and down in the same spot. We call that shoulders over toes. His shoulders, his toes, everything's in line. His elbows in, you get him the ball, bam, just let it go. That is years of incredibly com committed yeah. work. There will be an open shot if they do it right. Boom. Yeah, I skull it across. The <laughs> Under five and a half to go here in the first half. Lee cutting across the lane. He loves that glass, and so maybe he is calling glass. I that's guess. the third time he's gone to the bank. Wow. Outside shooter, just a freshman. Bullock only with three points here in the first half. That's interesting. You watch Davidson. Another Davidson from the get-go. They came out, went on an early 8-0 run. Lee now hanging in the air, connects again. I mean, do you know how tough that shot is to make? Lee now with 17 points. Seven of nine from the field. Oduro goes behind his back. Look at all the white jerseys converge on him. Kolak left wide open, and he hits. 51 seconds. We're going to stay here. See Lee just say, it's a nice shot. It was quick. Kolek, deep range, right in. It'll come in for the final 1.3 seconds. Lee will go out. Long pass, gets a shot off and good. 
They'll take a look at him. It looks like Jordan Miller beat the buzzer. So a little momentum possibly for the Patriots. Well, they got to get a little bit of momentum here, and they got to get in the locker room and go, guys, quit turning the ball over. So the final 20 minutes of the quarterfinals here in Richmond. Seven and one, almost a month pause for COVID, and it affected them when they... The way it's looking right now, it's going to be VCU and Davidson, unless Mason wide open. Grady off the rim. Lee gets it. They're going to call him for over the... See, Kolek, under this game, will play... VCU tomorrow in the semifinals. Kolek again, a good closeout, and Lee still hits him. So they're going to get Kellen Grady. Man, that's just. Come up on 14 and a half to play. They leave him open, and this time he misses, but almost gets his own rebound, collected by Carter Collins. Lee wide open. Can't get it to fall. Illinois. There you go. And probably Michigan. You know, Michigan, you know, they did not look good against Illinois the other night. In the action where Brykovich, should I shoot it? No, I'll get it to Grady. He's red hot. Boom. Kolek driving the baseline, hung up in the air, and loses it to Lee, who quickly gets it out to the big man, who goes behind the back. Lewis, first four out. So if you told me that Davidson pulled the upset, does that affect St. Louis because they wouldn't have won the tournament and Dave, uh, Davidson would have? Right. With Davidson getting in, is if St. Bonaventure and St. Louis have a great game and the Billikens get a oh, beautiful back cut and the Billikens five rebounds. He's got a steal. He's eight of eight at the line, four of eight from three and 10 of 16 overall for 32 points. Get 52 points from Lee and Grady. Hartwell on the drive, comes up short. Lee comes up with another rebound. And that's just too easy. You know, it's one thing about getting guys rest. It's another thing getting them in that good feeling. You know, getting defense being played to the very end. And another rebound. Lee has picked up like four rebounds in the last 342, 89, 56. Davidson Wildcats hit about everything. Tops their previous best of 56.7, and it does go final. The three seed getting past the six. They were magnificent in all aspects tonight. And there are the brackets set for the semifinals. Remember, the championship is scheduled for March 14th as they will move that to Dayton, Ohio. Flyers not making it to the semis, so that will not be a home court advantage for anyone. But St. Bonaventure, St. Louis will be a great one as long as well as VCU and Davidson. The 2 3 matchup. It'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. All eyes, of course, on Bones Highland to see what his health will be tomorrow. But I have a feeling he's going to give it a go.